Okay, we're going to do Niagara File, another cookbook recipe. Um, and again, here's the website if you want to look at um, any of uh, the latest and greatest Ni-Fi stuff I put up there. And again, if you have any questions or any issues with uh, Ni-Fi that, you know, I'd love to try and help you out, just um, send me this uh, uh, email address uh, on the bottom here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next recipe. Recipe number two. You have a problem where you're running out of memory in your NiFi instance and you need to allocate more. So usually what happens is you'll see this in the NiFi bulletin board. And if you look in the lower right here, it'll say Java dot lang out of memory, Java heap space. So that's an indication that you're running out of memory. So what you need to do there is you can edit this file called the bootstrap.com file and then just increase the memory settings that's defined by uh, java.org.2 and java.org.3. So how that works is if you go in the NiFi conf directory under your instance of NiFi, whatever version it is under conf, and you go ahead and uh, edit the bootstrap.conf file. Uh, in it, you'll see some settings for this various Java args that uh, NiFi will use when it starts up. Um, and you'll see something like uh, java.org.2 xms equals 512 or something like that. And basically, you just want to just increase that uh, number to a higher setting. And there's a whole bunch of other um, memory Java settings in that file as well that you can play around with. But specifically, if you want to increase the memory or change it, uh, this is where you would do that setting. So now let's go ahead and look at a video demo of that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, show you first how what a memory failure looks like, out of memory error looks like. We're going to generate a huge flow file that's going to cause us to uh, run out of memory. So we're going to uh, use the generate flow file. Uh, it's going to be a 10-second interval, and we're going to set the size to be 500 megabytes. So we're going to generate a 500 megabyte file every 10 seconds. And we're just going to go ahead and just dump it somewhere. So I'm just going to use update attribute just to send it over to it. And it's going to be success. It'll be self-closing. So let's go ahead and start them up. <coughs> if you want, you can look over here under System Diagnostics to see how much memory you have and how much free memory you have. So it says 490 max. And at the bottom it says 299 free. Uh, so it should get a memory error because we're going to send a 500 megabyte file over. So let's go ahead and start them up again. And let's give it a second. It's a big file. And there's our error. So it says out of memory error. You see that in the bottom there. Um, go ahead and stop it. If we look at the logs, we can see on the uh, console, we can see that it's we got our out of memory error. It says Java heap space. So that's how you can find out if you're running out of memory in your, in your knife, for instance. And we can, we can look at the system diagnostics to see uh, how our memory looks. So let's go ahead and fix that up here. Let's go ahead and uh, up the uh, memory uh, allocations for our NiFi instance. So let's go ahead and stop NiFi. And we're going to edit the uh, in the conf directory. We're going to edit the uh, bootstrap uh, .com file. So if you scroll down to where it says something like arg2, uh, you can look up these Java memory commands on the internet. Uh, this is just a simple down and dirty thing of how to set the memory. So we're going to bump it from 512 to 1024 and save it. And if you look down below, okay, so here's the settings here. Uh, if you look down below, you can see some other settings that are commented out. Uh, again, you could, this is how you configure your, J your JVM in NiFi, all these settings through here. So let's go ahead and set it. Now we we, uh, we doubled our memory. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start NiFi again. And again, there's a NiFi instance. Let's go look at again to see what we're setting it to. We're going to set it to 500 meg still, keeping all that the same. And if you want to look at the system uh, system diagnostics, we can see that the max memory now is 992, which is about you know, double what we had before. 
and the free memory is 600 something so we should be able to generate a 500 meg flow file without a problem so let's go ahead and hit start and ideally we'll have one file going over to update attribute and there it is you can see the one over there so the file made it fine it generated it fine there's no problems whatsoever so by doubling the memory we were able to generate a 500 megabyte flow file without getting an out of memory error and then again we can look at the system diagnostics to again see you know, how much memory we've used you can hit the refresh to see uh, how the memory is changing over time if you want uh, it just gives you a good feel for you know, how some of your uh, memory resources that's it